Hello everyone, hello, Sasserite here with more Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. We are very close to the end, I am fairly certain. Anyway, um, I did end up finding a hunting horn last night, so we evolved Solomon into a room. This is what he looks like. Pretty cool looking demon. This is our Blade Rex. This is our Rusalka. And our Hecate. Uh, Genus didn't die, but he hasn't had as many voice uh, lines, so we we've been better for that. Alright, so we've been at the Martel Ruins here. Or Martel Temple, sorry. This is where the first game, uh... Kind of, well, the first game starts at Acelia, but it, uh, this is where, like, the first major thing happens. Marta, what's wrong? You haven't been acting like yourself. I want to say something that you're probably not going to like. What? I, I don't want you to go away. I mean it. But if your personality stays, that means Ratatosk will disappear, right? <sighs> Ratatosk saved me just like you did. Yeah. Lloyd said that every single person is important because we're all different. So, what about Ratatosk? You are very important to me, but I don't want Ratatosk to disappear either. I'm sorry. I know I'm being awful. I know telling you this is only going to give you more things to worry about. No, not at all. I, I've been thinking about the same thing too. Hey you two, try to keep up. We're coming. Marta, I'll figure something out. So don't worry, okay? Okay. In case you guys didn't know, a meal is discovered. Hey now, Marta, my sweet. You look as though you've put your foot in your mouth and didn't much care for the taste. Leave me alone, Zealous. You took a question you haven't even answered for yourself and piled it on Emil's shoulders. But you knew you were doing it as you did it, and you regret it. Am I wrong? What do you mean? What question? I mean the one that goes, let's see now, which Emil do I like the best? Y you're wrong! I... both Emils are important to me. After all, they're both... They're both Emil. You're not mistaken there. That's why it's hurting you so much. But... Then what should I have done? I knew what I was saying was unfair, but I couldn't stand to have the other Emil just disappear. If that's really what you think, you should stand by it. What? If that's your true feeling, then be straight with it. Don't say things to Emil that you'll only regret as soon as they leave your lips. He's got more to deal with than any of us. If you honestly don't want to lose any part of him, then you did the right thing in saying so. <laughs> Zealous. Both personalities are Emil. It's only natural for you to fall in love with both. They're the same person. All that's left is to believe in him and wait. Right. Thank you. So what they're talking about is in the last uh, little bit of the stream, uh, we have found out that um, when Emil goes into Ratatosk mode, uh, it's not just another personality. Uh, Ratatosk mode is Ratatosk. Uh, the uh, timid Emil is fake. It's a... Um, fabrication that Ratatos, uh created to hide amongst uh, mankind when he uh, was killed by Richter. Oh, more temple. Okay. I thought we were at the end. We are not. Hit 
God damn, these slimes have so much HP. Yeah, I'm already a good combo. Yeah, Jeb, get him. Victor was the victor at that point, yeah. Solomon learned the skill Resist Sleep 3 versus Dragon 3. Got our mask this one. So I looked it up, guys. I actually have probably the best weapon I can get for a meal now. An ult bed. There are three weapons better than it, but the chances of uh... uh so one of them is from a side quest that I can't get access to anymore, which is fine. I wasn't planning to do the side quest anyway. Um, the other... Is from, uh, the... How do I describe this? It's from like a post-game dungeon that's only accessible in the uh, uh, your second playthrough, but it's not strictly a post-game dungeon. You can't do it before after you beat the game. You have to do it before you beat the game, but it can only be done on your second playthrough. Hey, Chocobo, welcome. Go ahead, should have for a boss fight. Uh, and the third is some, uh, I, I don't know if it's a quest line or an event or something, but uh, I, I'm not familiar with it. So how do we summon Varius? Varius is the summon spirit of heart. I'm sure it won't be much longer before he arrives. You called, Sheena? Corinne! So you're the summon spirit of heart. Ratatosk. No, Emil. I see your heart is a very sad color right now. You are... conflicted. I... A pact with me is something made in the heart. Once your heart has made its decision, Emil, I will give you my help. So please, give careful thought to how it is you wish to live. What do you mean, Various? I will protect Emil's heart in the manner it desires. However, he is still undecided as to what he wishes to do. He needs time. That's true. It's hard to make a decision like that about yourself so suddenly. I shall appear and lend you my power when you wish me to. Let us meet again when you have come to a decision. Thanks, Various. I'm sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Don't worry about that. You're the only one who can solve the problems inside you. We'll wait for your decision. Thank you. Okay. So. Thanks, Janus. I, I guess it stopped. Still, something feels very uneasy now. It's as if something dark and ominous is about to approach us. Emil, what's the matter? <laughs> this awareness is... The door to the Ginunga Gap is about to open!
How's he doing that? Yeah, uh, Evil Lloyd was just Dex. He was uh, using Solom's core to uh, no. transform himself. I thought the door would stay closed as long as Ratatosk is alive. The Vanguard. That's what Richter was using them for. Stop it! Stay away from that door! Don't touch it without my permission! Leah! Lord Ratatosk is holding back the demons trying to enter. If only he had all the Centurions under his will and regained his full power, this would never have happened. Emil, is there anything we can do? Yes, actually, there is. Wh what are you doing? Lumen, obey me! Help me. Help me, Ratatosk! Lady Marta. All right, there, Liam O'Brien. The the I say we should take whatever we can. What are you doing? What did you do to Paul Macosta? It's Lloyd Irving. <laughs> Stop! That was right before the beginning of the game. Marta. I... I guess that... I guess that I really am Ratatosk. Emil. The community that faced Lloyd, I'm so sorry. I took Lumen's core from you, and that wasn't right. I just betrayed your trust. No. You came back to us. You haven't betrayed me at all. Anyway, this is no place to have a long discussion. Why don't we go back to town? Yes. Hey, let's go Lumen. Hang on.
All right, sorry about that, guys. That cutscene wasn't even that long. My controller was like, all right, I'm turning off. So maybe my controller's just broken. Thanks. Yeah, broke my controller. See, I can actually believe that. P.S. Shit. What do you think you're doing? You ain't entering the church. That's my dad's voice. Oh, Jim, Jerk's fighting. Dad! Emil, let's go help him. Right. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about, right? Enemies already got a ton of HP. Why the fuck do they now have eye frames? Well, I just swing and my weapon goes through them. Doing nothing. Dad, are you hurt? I'm fine. If us dwarves are anything, we're tough, that's for sure. Dirk, tell us what happened. I guess you felt that earthquake, right? Well, a whole mess of monsters started flooding into town right after that. The earthquake must have been caused by the negative energy emanating from Nivelheim through the opening in the door of the Genungagap. But wait, why did the door open up in the first place? I thought it couldn't be opened while Ratatosk was still alive. Indeed, but Lord Ratatosk has lost some of his centurions, so his power has diminished accordingly. In addition, the Vanguard has been spreading the type of negative energy the demons love. The violence around the world. Correct. The scent of blood has loosened the restraints on the door. This must have been Richter's intent from the beginning. For now, Lord Ratatosk is just barely managing to hold the door closed. But if the situation does not improve, the monsters will break their bonds with the Centurions, and this world will become one with Nibelheim. Yes. What Tenebrae said is true. The only way left is for me to regain my power and to seal the door. Emil. No, I mean, Ratatosk. Is that the reason why you attacked Lloyd and took Lumen's core from what's him? What's wrong with me taking back what's rightfully mine? If you're gonna get in my way, then I won't hesitate to defeat you all! Stop! Stop! I like how Ratatos is still, I'll, I'll fucking kill all of you <laughs> instead of like, you know what, let's work together, you know? Clearly you're on my side. Are you gonna get in my way? One thing's certain. I won't let you hurt them. I won't let you hurt my friends! You fool! Richter opened the door! What are you gonna do about that? The only choice we have is for me to fully regain my power! No, there is another way. You... you mean, you're going to... Don't you see? I am you. 
You and I have to take responsibility for what we've done. Do you understand what you're saying? Various! Lend me your power. I know that you can see what my heart has decided. I feel like the heart ha the two of them had to be in concord for to, yes. the heart to have decided. I understand. I'm sorry. I'm okay now. Emil, what happened? I felt Corinne's, uh, Various's presence. So that would mean that you made up your mind? Yes. I had Various seal away Ratatosk's personality. The only thing that's left for us to do now is to get the other Centurion's cores back and then close off the Ginungagap. Marta, Lloyd, everyone, please. Hurrah! We need your help. So you've chosen to live your life as the summon spirit Ratatosk. Well then, I'll be happy to help you as much as I can as your friend. Me too. I will help you protect the door. It'll be my honor. It'll be her honor. Count me in too. I mean, you are my friend, right? No. This pressure that I feel, if this is the effect of the demonic realm, then please let me help you get rid of it. If Corinne is helping you out, then there's no way that I won't do the same. Tenebrae, do you have any objections? Uh, no. Nobody is your friend, Gina. It's, see, my controller turned off again. What the fuck, dude? It's funny, I can leave it sitting after stream when nothing's happening, which a lot of my extra playtime on this is just because I leave the game on and run up to the store or something, and my controller will stay on. No, we should make preparations for the trip first. I agree. And Emil, if you're really resolved to guard the Ganungagop door as Ratatosk, then I think it's important for you to say goodbye to all the people who've helped you in your life. Yes, you're right. I'm sure we all have matters we'd like to tie up before we go. Let's split up for now. Let's agree to meet back in Altamira. Until then. <laughs> what? That was a brat. What are you going to do? I... I think I'll go back to Luan. After I've checked on Daddy and Altamira, I want to spend the rest of the time together with you. Oh, sure. I guess that'd be fine. Really? Okay, then let's meet in Altamira tonight. Sure, got it. I don't understand how that's going to work since travel's probably going to take more than a day, one would think. I guess we do at the rare, so maybe not. Hang on. I just want to figure out all the places we can go. So, this is my final time as Emile Castanier. I've got to take one long last look at this world, take stock of what I've left undone, and finish the job. She's gonna get the rat a D. Probably. Are 
you all ready for tomorrow? Yeah, I'm just taking one last trip around the world. I get it. Remembering all the beautiful places you visit will keep you inspired while you're protecting our world from Nibelheim. Yeah, exactly. But once you regain all your power as a summon spirit, does that mean we won't see each other again? I'm not sure, but probably. That's so sad. We just became friends and everything. Yeah, but I have to accept my duty. I used to think like that too. Huh? I was told that I had to go on a journey to regenerate the world. If that was my duty, then I was ready to give up my life for it. Right, as the chosen of regeneration. But you know, that's not right. You have to survive too while also protecting the world. No matter how naive people may say you are, you can't just decide from the start that it's okay to die. That's what I learned from my last journey. I love this world with all my heart, and that's why I want to keep on living and protecting it. Colette. Tomorrow, let's show them what we're made of. Aw, oh, Colette. Kaiju B! The biggest of bees. Hello, how you doing, Biggie? Alright, where to next? Palma Costa. Alright, it was in Palma Costa. Excellent! We're reaching the arch oh, genus, the penis. Alright, what do you have to say? Hey, Emil. What brings you here? I'm going around seeing the world, since I might not be able to once I regain my powers as a summon spirit. Oh yeah, you're a summon spirit. That must be weird. Thanks for paying attention, Genus. So why are you here, Genus? Well, on our last journey, we ended up destroying this city. Oh, you mean the attack of that monster tree? Yeah, we were trying to save the world. We meant well, but it was a disaster. We took all the blame since it was our doing. But it was still really difficult to face. I think Colette took it the worst of all of them. Why's that? She was the chosen of regeneration, so a lot of people singled her out as the cause of it. Even so, Colette didn't run away and she didn't hide behind excuses. She's amazing. No way I could have done that. But I don't think she could have done it without Lloyd's support. Not just Colette. I don't think any of us could have made it without him. That's why I love Lloyd so much, and why I'm really glad you two have become friends. Yeah, at first I misunderstood what Lloyd was trying to do. Well, that was Lloyd's fault too. Even if he... I guess since Lloyd's human, he's growing up ahead of me. You're a half-elf, right? Yeah. So even after all of my human friends die, I'll keep on living. I know it's gonna be really lonely. But you'll find some way to come and visit me, right? Oh no! Chocobo declined the duel. It happens. Alright. Oh, that's done. Uh... Who's in a Zold? There's somebody here. Dude, you could have fallen south. That probably would have been faster. Vector! Sorry, I only got a list here of where everyone is. I don't know who it is until I get there. But... That's fine. Oh, Regal. Hey, Regal, what are you doing here? Oh, Emil. What brings you to these parts? I wanted to go out and see the world. What are you up to? I thought for sure you'd be back to work in Altamira. 
I came to make certain the situation here was under control. Oh, you mean to see if the fire stopped after we hatched Lumen's core? Indeed. Thankfully, it would appear conditions have returned to normal. That's good to hear. You really impressed me, Regal. All I've been doing is thinking about myself. It didn't even cross my mind to check on things here in Azul. Not at all. I think serious reflection is exactly what you should be doing right now. And of course, we can handle anything that comes our way in the meantime. You've been kind and supportive from the very beginning. I pre You have treated me with courtesy from the first time we met. People mirror how you act towards them. One cannot hide an ugly heart, no matter how hard one tries to conceal it. If I've treated you with kindness and respect, it's only due to your own honesty and virtue. But I'm Ratatosk. Well then, perhaps virtue like yours exists within Ratatosk as well. We believe in your virtue. That's why we're helping you. Thanks, Regal. Don't worry. You're here because you're needed. And you're needed because you exist. Nothing in this world is without purpose. Thank you. Alright guys, let's take a quick break here and then we'll finish off these scenes and then I believe we got the final dungeon. Be right back guys.